Hi, it's Brad from WordPressSites.net. I've just written a, a blog post on how to fix broken links, both incoming links and internal links. So if you if you want to check this out and uh, have a look at your links to see whether there's any broken links, it might be worth having a look at that because the search engines don't like broken links. It will affect your page rank and your search results and the uh, your site visitors won't like it as well as it doesn't look good when someone lands on you on your site coming from a, a, an external link or even an internal link and you, they get a 404 page not found error so it's a, it's a good idea to have a look at, to find out whether you have any broken links and, uh, and and it's fairly easy just using Google Webmaster Tools I had a look at this yesterday and I thought it was about time I fixed a few of the little problems on my site I've got over 16,000 incoming links uh, to, to, to this blog alone and I found 87 uh, not found and I was uh, I was a bit shocked when I saw that so I thought I'd better get back together and find a solution and I've, I've read different blog posts on how to fix them but but no one's really explained uh, comprehensively how to do it properly they've just said fix them manually but they haven't said how to do it so so if you want to check just go to Google Webmaster Tools it's a free service and uh, and you look at your site on the web and you come down to crawl errors and that'll tell you how many errors you got there it'll also give you a few other errors about your, your HTTP and stuff like that but just looking at the, the links um, you can find out uh, how many were not found and uh, I'll, I'll, I've written a fairly fairly decent blog post about that today on my site. I'll fold it under the links category, which it should be easy to find if you want to have a look at the text. I've got all my categories listed just below the header here. The titles: How to easily fix broken WordPress links fast using a simple free WordPress permalink plugin. It's a fairly fairly lengthy title there, but I've, I've thrown a few keywords into that title and. Uh, Hopefully uh, it'll be attractive to the search engines as well. I was I was weighing up which category to put it in, whether to put it in WordPress plugins or links, and I did my keyword research on that. And uh, WordPress links is uh, gets a few hundred thousand hits a month, so I put it in there rather than WordPress plugins. Uh, but it'll, it'll give you all the uh, all the benefits of fixing the links, and it's very very easy with this WordPress plugin. It's a free plugin. And uh, and the configurations are very very simple. It's it's just a matter of deciding on how many keywords you want this plugin to use when it when it searches for your related posts. So if someone comes to a link, whether that's an external link or an internal link, and there's a 404 on it before uh, before that link goes to a 404 uh, error error page. This, this plugin will search for a related post or page which has either one, two, three or four keywords in the permalink. So you can decide on how many you want to put in there. Two, two's recommended. Um, I actually put any single word match because I know that's going to that's gonna pick up more so that'll reduce my 404 errors and that's all you really have to configure there's a few other options here which you don't really need to use but you can have certainly have a look at and and it, and it'll tell you the last 30 that it's fixed so it's fixed 30 here which is really good and that that happened just straight away from installing the plugin and I've just noticed in the search results uh, WordPress sites has come up uh, has come up number one on Google, so I'm really happy with that. Maybe maybe this plugin contributed to that and has helped me. Uh, maybe that that's what was holding me back from getting a higher ranking. I was around six and seven on page one for a while, and then I popped up to four, and uh, then three, then two, and I've noticed today I'm I'm number one on Google for for the keyword WordPress sites. So. I'm not sure how long that'll last. That may only last, uh, you know, a day or a few hours. I might hover between one and four for a while. I think so. But uh, being in the top three or fours, um, you know, makes a big difference. It's a lot better than being six or seven. So you can easily improve your search results by uh, by by fixing errors on your page and making it, it more search engine friendly and optimizing your content. So this is one way to fix any errors. And if you've got any comments, I'd really appreciate that in the comments section. And uh, let me know if you find any other plugins that can help.